Okay, so first things first, we need to melt, well, we need to turn the stove on, melt three tablespoons of butter. So let's go to that. So we need three tablespoons of butter and then four cups of mini marshmallows. I had a recipe earlier for Frankenstein Rice Krispie Treats and I thought it was the one that I looked at, well, looked at. And um, I got, out of, got it up here and I was so upset because it, it said it needed ounces and then it also said it needed cups. Well, I didn't know what it meant by the, it, it said it needed 10 ounces of marshmallows. Well, means very little to me but this one has so I had it all measured out well then we changed recipes um so it's we need four cups of marshmallows so I'm mashing these down and it's about two cups here so as soon as our butter's melted um I've got puppies eating and drinking over there, so if you hear little crunches and little slurps, that's what's going on. Okay, so four cups. Okay. Here's two cups. I've really never even messed with marshmallows, sort of like um, sweet potato casserole or something. So, it kind of scares me to have, that's why I've got it in this, um, in this pan versus, um, it's like a non-stick pan, because I don't know how much I'm going to have to scrub this pan to get the marshmallows out. So, here's that. So, melt butter and marshmallows together in a saucepan over medium heat stirring okay uh constantly oh not occasionally constantly gotcha constantly consonant these consonant um almost gone really stir in green food coloring uh, so so. why well, have one dirty dish when you can have 10 dirty dishes that's always my philosophy Stirring constantly, only to take breaks to get things you didn't have out. <laughs> I had a puppy sneeze on my foot. I didn't know she was there. Guys, this is going to be so fun to wash. This might be a husband wash job because this, look how it's just sticking. And over here, I had saw it browning. I've got it on, there's like a little bit below medium. Now I'm thinking, because I put quite, a, well, I'm going to put quite a bit of green in here because I know when I put the Rice Krispie treats in there, it's going to dilute the green. That is gorgeous. But we're going to. Put a little bit more in there. Okay. That's green enough for my liking. And then... Okay, so now we need six cups of Rice Krispie Treats. Okay, well, there's like two cups. There's four cups. I measured a little less last time. Two four which is fun because like I had planned on making this today anyway well uh, I went over to my parents house yesterday for my 
my cousin, Lord, my brother-in-law's birthday party. And he doesn't like cake, so his mom had made him Rice Krispie Treats. So, I should have just made this yesterday, and we could have had Rice Krispie, green Rice Krispie Treats for him. Okay, and then we need two more cups. Two, four, three, six. <sighs> Which tells me I now have a quarter of a bag of Rice Krispie Treats to do something with. Oh, this is a workout. No, I just thought it was going to be easier than this. Because, well, everybody knows I didn't read the recipe all the way through. But, looking at all the other recipes, it seemed to be the easiest looking of all of them. After this, we're going to pour cereal marshmallow mix into a greased uh, 9 by 13 dish and spread out evenly. I actually went and bought, I've got plenty of 9 by 13 casserole dishes. But since we're going for Franken, Frankenstein's, mon Frankenstein's monster, because it says Frankenstein, but it's his monster, not the scientist. So since we're doing Frankenstein's monster, I wanted them to be really square and none of my casserole dishes were really that square, like the edges. So I bought one and I bought a metal one too. Not that that matters much, but I figured it'd, it'd be even more square than a glass one. Okay. I think this is as good together as we're going to get. I think I could have done with some more marshmallows, but oh well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Greased. Now we're going to pour all this crap in here. Oh, you should see this. Look, it's not. It was a good thing I put it in a metal one that I can scrub later. Let's see if I have a metal spatula. Got some cellophane. Well. Probably should have sprayed it first. Probably gonna take it and just put something on there and then just put it on top. Okay. I went ahead and cut these. Now I'm cutting them in the most uneven squares I can possibly do. So 
those are cut. Now, uh, let's set in fridge for 30 minutes. Remove from fridge, cut into rectangles, and place on wax paper. Uh, this is parchment paper. I didn't have any wax paper. And they're not, they're not sticking. It's okay. And then, in a microwave-safe bowl, melt half a bag of melting chocolates in 30 second, 30 second intervals. Uh, so, it said to... Oh, well, that's the worst opening job I've ever done. Um, it said to get black melting chocolate, and I couldn't find that. Um, also, didn't look super hard. But I got um, dark chocolate. Um, and then... Half a bag. But I've got some... Uh, black food coloring that I can put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, here we go. This bowl is very hot. It only took three times. So we have this. I don't think it needs to be super even because um, I don't think it needs to be super even because it's just uh, his hair, his hairline. Oh, I should have done it on this side. So, well, it's okay. Oh, these are cute. Take some of this because he's balding up here and it says just to like I think it says just to hold it it says oh oh that's not good well I'm gonna lay him down because I had him standing up and I just had one fall there's an awful lot. Oh, no. Our whole life is falling apart. Hang on. There. Okay. Now, they said to dip it down into like a one inch of it, which I mean, I guess is pretty much what I just did there. But like, I don't know what kind of freaking bowl they were using. Mm, this works a little bit better. This 
this is probably where the wax paper comes in handy because I guarantee you it sticks like the dickens onto this parchment paper but I don't have any have any wax paper. Oh, I was going to color this. Well, I didn't, so what are you going to do? I think it looks good with the... Ooh, I think it looks nice with... Mm. Ooh, we might have to do the... Uh, ooh, we're definitely going to have to do the other half of the... <laughs> Can I help you, puppy? I did want to update you guys on the um, the pan for the Rice Krispie treat that I or like the um, the pot itself. I um, put it in the dish or put it in the water immediately in hot hot water and then put some soap in there and um, then waited about thirty minutes because I was editing the video and it just came right out like I poured it out and. Um, all the Rice Krispies and the marshmallows and everything, even the brown bits that I had seen, came out easy. I just wiped it. I had to scrub the very bottom of it. I just had to scrub a little bit with my um, stainless steel thing. and Not a problem. Ooh, here we go. I tend to like the messier sides of them because I think it looks more more like hair. So um, I just choose which side I want to be the real side and that's the side I face up. Ooh, I like that one. Oh Molly, it's okay. I'm almost done and then I can give you all the attention. Almost done. Now, the thing says that it should take about two to three minutes to dry. I got some, um, the little eyeballs, which, check these out. I had, um, I was just going to get a container of just eyeballs, and a container of just eyeballs was like almost $4. And, but a container with eyeballs and sprinkles was two dollars almost two dollars so i just opted for this now i've got some black decorating gel Oop. eyeball eyeball Creamy Supreme Caramel Apple from Pillsbury, and it needs to be used up. Also, okay.
the reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't, I don't know if that, um, black gel is actually going to hold it, but I do think that this icing will hold it. Sorry you guys can't see these over here. I have the same setup that I always have, but, well, I did, but since we're doing things on the counter, Instead of in bowls. Ooh, okay, well that's messy. It got a little weird. hands off. Okay. Let's do eyeballs. It actually looks like peanut butter. I guess I could have used that instead of icing, but. Oh no. I've got an extra eyeball. I put a little bit of frosting on this and now I'm going to put one on either side. So there are several different things that you, or several different ways that you could have done these. And I think that they would have turned out just fine. Um, if you don't have like the little candy eyeballs, which like I t said earlier, were kind of expensive for what they are. Um, but I guess that's, baking things are usually pretty expensive. Um, you could have just used marshmallows or just, I kind of like just the little, um, when I, before I put the stuff on there, the little black. Uh, the hair you could have done differently. You could have used different colors or you could have actually colored your icing like you said you were going to or your chocolate like you said you were going to or what have you. But all in all, I mean it's it, I it's super cute. I enjoy it. Uh, okay, there we oh there we go, we are all finished. Okay, you guys have a great day and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Cooking Fearlessly with Jess.